Well, part of understanding, I think, a little bit now of some of the classic Chinese uh, tourist attractions and that are cultural icons is to take a look at, at how the people are exploring them now. And I really enjoyed seeing a lot of tourists and from all over the world with big groups having fun and enjoying themselves you know, at, uh, at the Forbidden City and, and running and playing and, and learning about a place while they're having fun. It's not a classroom. You're not, you're not engaged in reading a textbook about the history of a place. You're actually there. You're breathing and, and living the environment. And yeah, it's a little bit different. And you know, hopefully people go to these places and, and have a little bit of understanding and a little respect for the ancient culture that, that they're experiencing. But it's also a living place. And it's open to the public. And we're, we're there to experience it and engage it in our own way. And I enjoy watching and photographing the tourists, just as much as the, the magnificent architecture and the, the wonderful buildings. So I try to incorporate a little bit of both and have kind of a modern look, if you will, at uh, the Forbidden City and, and how modern tourists are interacting with the environment.